the year 1453. From the lands of Constantinople, a mighty force of Ottoman Turks sweep across Romania, threatening the very heart of Christendom. From the ashes of destruction arose a young Romanian prince, a knight of the secret order of the dragon, a direct descendant of Abel himself. The prince was charged to vanquish the Turks from his homeland. Before leaving for battle, he appointed his one true love to rule in his place until he returned. He ordered his four best knights to guard her with their lives. Some say he fought with the power of God. Others say the blood of the dragon. Those who dared whisper his name would feel the fear in their tongues. Dracula. Far from the bloody battlefields, another war was being fought at home. Taking advantage of their master's absence, Dracula's own advisors plotted to overthrow the throne. Unhappy with the prince's visionary ways, the traitors dared not challenge Dracula directly. They found his gentle bride to be a much easier target. The battle was over, but the war had just begun. to live with his tortured soul for eternity. No one knows where he went or if another descendant of Cain will appear when the time is right. And so ends the untold tale of the first crusade of Dracula. Many slayers fought to find him. The castle destroyed. All that is left in ruins. But Dracula still lives. I know this to be true. As I wait to reunite with my one true love, heroes die. Death is eternal. But
real love.